start the adventure. Can Office Hotel, <coughs> just to the west of Welshpool. You can find out more about them in the magazine. But a cracking couple run this place and make you very welcome indeed. So let's get cracked on. <coughs> and off we go! On our motorbike adventures of Britain, North and Mid Wales Productions! We're heading towards Dalgethley and the Huntlet. And as soon as you get away from it, the scenery starts. I oh, love it mate, absolutely love it. Let's say for example that you're not coming here to stay as we go through the little village of Fall. That you're just coming here for the day. Well let me tell you something. There's a lovely place just down here on the right where you can fill up before you start your adventure. Or fill up after your adventure. And it's just coming up down here. Here we are. If you don't fancy a hotel, they're also a B&B. But here we are, the different cafe bed and breakfast. So what we're going to do is have a quick look inside. Seating outside you see. You can also find out more about them in the magazine and they've also got a film just about them. And there we are. I'll give them a shot, didn't it? <laughs> so that's it there, different. And that's the B&B &B bit there. Find out more about them in the magazine and watch their film. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? To infinity and beyond. So that's two places that you can stay at just to the west of Welshpool before you start our awe-inspiring <coughs> jaw-dropping scenic adventure that will take your breath away mid Wales to it. Wales hills and valleys. Now just entered Snowdonia National Park region. Bloody lovely. Absolutely bloody lovely. The trees are just starting to change look. In another couple of weeks this area will be a blaze with magical colours. Now then, can't tell me that that doesn't make you go ooh, or wow, or bloody hell. This is the reason why you should come to this area. North and Mid Wales has so much to offer. And what I really like about the area is the roads are marvellous. 
absolutely marvellous. It's as if they're brand new. And when I've asked the question, the nearest habit are. There's been a lot of work done on the roads in the region, North and Mid Wales. Which makes the experience so much nicer. Now let's say that you didn't like the first two places, which I questioned your rationale. But just on the left here, at the fuel station, you've got an independently run cafe. And there it is, Cafe Carries. Find out more about them in the magazine. But we now turn right as we head again towards Dalgethley. You're in for an absolutely unbelievable treat as I take you along this adventure. It's a place I don't think many people know about. But if you want to take photographs for memories to last a lifetime, you just wait. You just wait. Look at that man! Look at it! Now for those of you who don't want the hotel, who don't want the B&B, &B, but want to go camping, here's the camping site. Bloody marvellous scenery. That's a very nice uh, campsite, is that? Very nice indeed. Come out to that. Bada da mid wheels. But we're continuing our adventures, still heading towards Dalgathley. I just can't tell you how impressive the roads are in this area for touring round on. Oh, so new, well maintained, pretty marvellous. Now this road is a popular little area on the top. You may well have seen some YouTube footage of jets that are flying below people taking photographs of them. And it's up there. Whoopie whoopie whoop. And it's up on the side there on the left, just up there look. There's people up there already. You won't be able to see them on the camera. But that's where they stand and the jets come below them through this pass. <laughs> Absolutely tickety boo. That's a way of staying fit, isn't it? 
get your hobby of photographing or filming low flying jets and climb up that every day. Then we come over the tops to another jaw dropping view. Mountains on the left there, looking sad under moody clouds. You cut up like a man. Now, you can turn left here to go to Mahonkland, or straight on to Dalgethley, and that's the road that we're going to take. We're still going on to Dalgethley. We'll come back out on that road, no doubt. So we continue to drop down into Dalgethley and we're actually going to go into the town of Dalgethley surrounded by stunning views man, absolutely stunning views So as we drop down to Dalgethley just over in the trees there is a campsite again that is being featured very much bike friendly so you see the SO station we turn right just before there and it's called the Torrent Walk campsite but they've also got a bunkhouse and they also do B&B and it's a fabulous place to base yourself as are they all And then you turn in to the campsite itself. And this is it. Look at the surroundings, isn't that just spectacular? What a campsite! And this is where you can put your tent. You can even have electric hookup. How cool is that? And there in front, you've got a good toilet block. Everything for your wildest dreams. fuel station nearby and they've even got the little thief where you can pop in for breakfast if you want what a bloody good spot that is so we're now going to go and have a look along into Dalgethley itself so you're not even far to find pub facilities. Just behind me now, there's a Hercules just going along the tops. Oh, there's another bugger. Bloody hell, I wish I'd stopped now. But it's through here, you see where it says straight ahead, Barmouth. That's the road that we take. We 
because this is where we get to the point where the, the tour is named the scenic adventure because the view that we're going to be going to see is going to take your bleeding breath away and up here Cardi Idris now we start to get the views as we climb higher ha! Yakita! Look at that! Tell you man, now in every bend there's a view to take your eyeballs hostage. Oh, lovely day. Lovely glorious. To be riding around the Welsh countryside. You see, this road here is a little bit off the beaten track, but you would never think about heading up this little road. But it's literally just on the outskirts of Dalgethley. And that's where we're heading. Just up there, look. Oh, you won't be able to see over the wall. Up there. There it is. Impressive up to there, isn't it, eh? Right, boys and girls, get your pack on, we're going there. Bugger off, love Kev. I'll see you when you get back down. Impressive though, isn't it? As it stretches up towards the sky. Wow. Tense your teeth in case your dentures fall out. Brrr. Now, when you get round to this bit, We get off just to have a look at where we've come from. And that's what we've ridden up. Oh god, that's wonderful. And there's the craggy top. And the road that we've been on leads to Craigannon Lakes and that's where we're going next so we turn right here which takes us to Craigannon Lakes around the ragged rock the ragged rascal run Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Do 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 do! Look at that, yeah, bugger! This, in my humble opinion, has got to be one of the best views in Britain. This, in my humble opinion, 
has got to be one of the best views in Britain. Without any question, that is one of the best views in Britain. I might not have said so anything yet, but you know, I think that's one of the best views in Britain, is that? Isn't that just bloody spectacular? And that's the jaw-dropping adventure, and that's why we've come this way. Woo woo. Yucky bloody da, isn't it? I mean, isn't it? That takes some beating in this country. There's a couple of little tight bends. As we drop down from that superb view and Craigannon Lake. And then we drop down to the main road where we're going to turn right to take us back towards Dalgethley. So, we've done our circle around Craigannon Lakes, seeing the fantastic view over Barmouth, and we've done our circuit round to Dalgethley again. At the T-junction we've then turned left, and we're now heading towards Blenau Festinog, which will take us then to Betty Coyne, which will then take us to where we're stopping tonight. How about that for a plan? Can't you? you can just see the tree start to turn. Do some the hills in the distance, that's the hills around Porth Manic. Off to the left there, the other side of there, you've got the Hlin Peninsula, which is an area that we are going to be touring around on for our adventures on another day. Now, right in the distance, right in the very, very far distance, just cleaning the lens, I, you won't be able to see it, but there's a dam in between there's, there's two mountain bits there one there one there one there one there and right in the middle there's a dam and that's part of Blenau Festinion and that's where we're heading up we won't go as far as that but it should become a lot clearer the closer we get
and some of the scenery around the Blevnau area. <laughs> some of the scenery, look at that! Look at it! It's the Welsh Slate region. I bloody love it, I do. Absolutely, what a skyline that is, isn't it, eh? What a fabulous looking panorama that is. The higher we get, the more spectacular it becomes. See the, see the dam now? Do you see it? There it is, up there you see, and all over there, all over there, was packed with industry, producing the slate, and like everything else in this country, it's been let go, where once we ruled the world, we're now a joke, just in my humble opinion. makes me so sad to see the country in rack and ruin led by bloody idiots too educated for their own good spectacular isn't it I know I keep saying it but it bloody is And inside one of those is now the indoor trampoline centre. So you can go in the old slate mine and bounce on a wacky great huge series of trampolines. You can see by the way this town's laid out. Little cottages, both sides of the road. was built because of the surrounding industry. They're not very big are they? But then again they didn't need to be. Two up, two down. And that's what my grandparents lived in from a coal mine. Miners' houses, two up and two down. That's all you needed. And an outside netty. Although they did upgrade it to an inside bathroom. But I can still smell the dampness of the outside netty. Paper hanging on the wall, damp. Having to. <laughs> Having to sit there to do my bits with an old miner's lamp for uh, for light. The old Davy lamp. You look round here and you can feel the sadness. You can feel it being a deprived area. A little bit like where I used to hang around on the Durham Coast or the Durham Dales, which was once a thriving pit industry. You ride through those villages now, you can feel the death of a once thriving area. And you can feel it here. Everything just grey and people with no smiles on their faces. Sad but true. Look at all the slag down the side of there. All of that was produced 
by producing slates for roofs. And I've got no doubt now you could import it from China cheaper than we can produce it here. Look at it all. Even that tells a story of the amount of industry that there was around here at one time. The amount of slag that's on the side of the hills from bringing the clogs down to getting them rived to producing the 10 by 8 slate that would go on somebody's house. You don't put slates like this on top of houses these days. It's all mass manufactured stuff. And here we have coming up on the right to cheer everybody up, regenerating the area. Is the Lexlade Slate Caverns with their zip wire, zip world, and their bounce below trampolines. out of adversity, opportunity presents itself. You don't get this in any other part of Britain. No other part of Britain has the scenery and splendour that the North and Mid Wales area has, along with the quality of the roads. That's the reason why you need to get yourself here. Those views, the history, the roads, the excitement, the adventures. Bring it on. Bring it on in bucket loads. We're not far now from getting into Betsy Coid, which is where we're going to fill up with fuel. There was a guy down in Norfolk said that to me, and the price of fuel, I went fuel, what the bloody hell's fuel? He says, you know, eating fuel. <laughs> Some things you just don't forget, do you? I mean, that must have been 10 years ago, that. And at this junction here, we turn left for Betsy Coyd. And this is where we fill up in the Shell Garage. So we come into Betsy Coyd, very much a central area for the guys on bikes to uh, meet up and go on their adventures. And halfway through into, into Betsy, we are going to be turning right towards our destination. Then you go down that road and that's where they all hang out down there in amongst all the shops. There's a fish and chip shop and a cafe down there as well where everybody sits and talks motorbikes. Oh I like your bike. Oh I like your bike as well. Oh your bike's nice. Oh well your bike's nice. Oh bloody hell. Oh, 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 oh. And that's what we do.
it takes you to the west side of the river, which comes out at Conway, into the sea. And it just gives a different perspective to going on, you know, the normal road, I guess you would go on. But this is a, a nicer road. And here it is. Surf Snowdonia. Now, we're not too far away from the seaside. So why would you build something like this? This is a artificial lake which enables you to surf and be guaranteed the surf. Well, I suppose down on the beach, you're not guaranteed it. And it's a brand new facility. Surf Snowdonia. But I've no doubt it's regenerated the area for the tourism world and the cafes and the pubs and the guest houses for that matter. And we turn left here. And just a little bit further up is our place of residence for this evening. Here we are, coming up on the right. The St. John Pass Hotel. Great place to leave your bike and just look at that. It's wonderful wooded surroundings.